Hey guys, it's Volkswagen Mechanic. Welcome back to another video. Uh, I know it's been a while since we made a video. I don't remember exactly how long it's been, but it's, uh, it's been at least since last year. Uh, I know I haven't made one since uh, last year, but anyways, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the filter on a uh, Craftsman vacuum. Now this particular vacuum here is, well, it's, it's a shop vac, but <coughs> obviously, but yeah. This particular vacuum here is uh, pretty old. I know I don't really know what year officially it was bought in, but I know it was bought new, I think, in the 2000s. So, yeah, it's pretty old. But they do actually still make filters for these, I think. I found this one on eBay. Uh, it's from a company called, uh, what does it say, Copac Filter LLC. That's So, I guess they still make filters for these old things. So, yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to do that today. So, first of all, obviously, you want to take off your lid, because that's where the uh, filter will be located. The cord's kind of uh, wound around here right now. Let me uh, get that unwound real quick. All right, there we go. Okay, so, here's the filter housing, and I know that's an extremely gross looking filter, let me zoom in on extremely gross looking filter, but here's a lesson for you guys, this is why you don't vacuum water with the filter on, I'll tell you, this is a, this is a wet dry vac, so you can vacuum, uh, you can vacuum water with this thing, but they recommend, I looked in the manual of this thing, they actually recommend you take the filter off when you vacuum, which, you know, makes sense, because, yeah, that's what happened. We vacuumed too much water, and it messed up the entire filter. So, first of all, let me get a trash can to clean up this mess here, because it's really, uh... All right, there we go. I just need something to put this nasty filter in when I get done with it. So, see this like white nut thing here? You want to unscrew that first of all. And that's gonna Okay, now that's off. That's going to enable you to take this plate off, which I know that's kind of gross, but let's, uh, get as much that off in the trash can as we can. Okay, once that plate's off, that's going to enable you to, let me get some gloves for this, honestly. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, but yeah, I got some gloves because it's kind of nasty. I didn't really want to touch it. So then, I guess I do have to touch it kind of. It's still kind of wet. I don't know how. Then you take the filter off like that, which that's gross. I'm just going to put it over here in the trash can. And... Then, if there's a lot of dirt on it, like there is this one, I clean it off, so. There's a piece of rope on there for some reason. There we go. Just want to get as much of that junk off of there as we can. Dirt should not get inside this filter housing normally, but since the filter has been slid down for so long and not doing its job, then that's why that happened. So if that ever happens, make sure and replace it immediately. But just don't vacuum with water with the filter on. That's just what you don't need to do. Okay, now, when you got the filter off, then get these uh, gloves off. There we go. Then I want to take the new filter. This is what the new filter looks like. Um, it has this mark here if it comes from the Copac LLC, which I, I, don't, I don't think, yeah, that's a pink, black mark. You look on the inside. And it says here that the part number, by the way, here's uh, the thing on it. It says here, it does match the part number from the manual, part number, uh, whatever, the the uh, tic-tac-toe symbol 9-17816. So it matches the part number, and it says here, it replaces 5-gallon plus vacuums. I think this is an 8-gallon manufacturer after 1988 they use the red stripe filter and it gives a part number so this is basically what I what it means so you want to take the new filter 
and slide it over the filter housing until it gets to there. And then you want to take your uh, plate thing that we took off earlier, the filter housing plate, put that back over it, then grab the nut that we unscrewed, put that on, and screw it to the right. Till it's snug. You don't have to over tighten it because that might uh, mess something up. But yeah, just screw it till it's snug. And that's how you put on a filter. It's nice and tight on there. Looks nice and new. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Get it back on. You can use it to clean up some of its. Uh, its own junk over here that I spilled. I was uh, fixing it. Okay. Let's get it plugged in. This is going to be loud. You probably won't be able to hear my voice, but uh, you see all that junk there. All right, let's turn it on. Well, that works good. It said there if you had any like suction issues, like if it wasn't sucking hard enough, you might want to go check and make sure it's tight enough because, you know, that could be, be causing, if air is getting through, it could cause sucking issues, but I think it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's sucking hard enough, but yeah, I, it blows a lot of stuff away from it when you turn it on because of the air, the fan, uh, you know, but yeah, so... That's what the old grimy filter looks like. Normally they shouldn't look that bad after they've been used a lot. They'll just look like the new one except way dirtier. But like I said, we use that one with water and that's why it shriveled up like that. Let's look. See? Yeah, you can see there's some dirt in there, but it's not really that noticeable. But yeah, that's how you replace a filter in a Craftsman vacuum. This, like I said, this is an older model, so it might look a lot different on the newer ones. But, I mean, the filter was 25 bucks on eBay, so a lot cheaper. It's like half the price of buying a new vacuum, maybe. I don't know how much new vacuums cost, but something like that. Yeah, that's how to do that. Um, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I know it's been a while, but like I always say, I just uh, don't have a ton of stuff to show you guys all the time, so that's why we don't do regular uploads on the channel. Uh, if you guys are wondering why it's so much brighter in our garage, it's because we replaced all the old uh, bulb lights in here with these LED ones, and we put more of them. We used to only have one there, one there, and one down there. Now we have an extra one right here, and one over there by the uh, toolboxes. So yeah, I'll be bringing you guys probably uh, two new videos in the next uh, few days. Uh, one on, I know I already did this, but one on how to replace the battery in the Troy Built Mower. Again, I know I did this video before, but I just want to do it again because, I don't know, maybe I'll do a better job this time. And also how to replace the air filter in a Troy, you know, my Tro Troy Built Mower. But yeah, that's the vacuum filter. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the other videos coming this week, probably. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe.